The Works and Life of V.S. Nepal, Salman Rushdie and Vikram Seth. V.S. Nepal was born on the 17th of August, 1932 in Trinidad and Tobago. He was a novelist, travel writer, essayist, and composed a number of short stories. He obtained an English degree at Oxford University, and much of his writing, like Arundhati Roy, is heavily influenced by his culture and upbringing. V.S. Nepal obtained a number of literary awards, such as the W.H. Smith Literary Award in 1968 for the his book, The Mimic Men. In a Free State in 1971, winner of the Booker Prize for Fiction, and A House for Mr. Biswas, 1961, winner of the 2001 Nobel Prize. The Mimic Men is one of his most acclaimed work. It is about Ralph Singe. Ralph Singe, the main character of the na and narrator in the novel, is a 40-year-old colonial minister from a newly independent country in the Caribbean, the island of Isabella. Singe lives in exile in London and is trying to impose order in his life by writing his memories. He is seeking order and trying to rewrite his life. His presence differs in different times, places, and situations, but is unable to follow a chronological order, thus not achieving the order he seeks. He is a displaced and disillusioned man. To write his own story and to give meaning to his life and existence, he considers the notions of history, colonization, decolonization, culture, race, and politics. V.S. Nepal, like Arundhati Roy, often discusses pressing controversial issues of cultural or political stigmas. Salman Rushdie Salman Rushdie was born in 19, on the 19th of June in 1947 in Bombay, British India. He is a British Indian novelist, essayist, and copywriter, and like V.S. Nepal, wrote a number of short stories. He obtained a history degree at the University of Cambridge, and in his graduate level, and also attended Stanford University. He is now age 66. Salman Rushdie's literary award was, most acclaimed literary award, was for his book Midnight's Children, winner of the 1981 Booker Prize. In 1993 and 2008, it was awarded the best of the bookers at the best novel as the best novel to have received the prize during its first 25th and 40 years. The Satanic Verses is Salman Rushdie's most popularly known. The title refers to the Satanic Verses of a group of verses in the Quran that allow intercessory prayers to be made to, to three pagan gods, Alat, Uzzah, and Manat. It's Salman Rushdie's fourth book in 1988, inspired by the life of Prophet Muhammad, and it received a number of positive reviews in London. However, it struck up controversy in India as many conservative Muslims regarded it as blasphemy. But in London, it was nominated as a finalist for the 1988 Booker Prize. Like many of his works, including Midnight's Children, the Satanic Verses incorporates elements of magical realism. Vikram Seth was born on the 20th of June, 1952, in Kolkata, India. His current age is 61. He is a novelist and poet. He studied at Oxford and Stanford University and, re and received a graduate's degree in economics. His literary awards are many. To name a few, A Suitable Boy in 1944, winner of the W.H. Smith Literary Awards and the Commonwealth Writers Prize. The Humble Administrator's Garden, 1985, winner of the Commonwealth Poetry Prize. A Suitable Boy, possibly his most acclaimed work. One could say that A Suitable Boy is the perfect title for this work by Vikram Seth, as it is indeed the tale of Lata's search for an ideal husband, according to both Lata's own view and her family's definition of suitable, be they social, religious, political, or personal. Alongside her and her family, we are led to antagonize over how much she sh should value love, how much she may be willing to sacrifice for it, and where following intense love might lead, which is very similar to themes of the forbidden love found in Arundhati's The God of Small Things. What's the connection between these three authors? What all these th 
three authors and major works have in common is they're all authors of our 21st century and they're all presently alive. They have confident, charismatic personalities and, and aren't afraid to address pressing issues and concerns. They present works questioning the cultural stigmas of the author's own place of origin. They're not afraid to talk about the things that are negative about their country, despite opposition. They present themes of forbidden love, political strife, family values, and cultural uniqueness. 